How shall we consider Christ? But how shall we consider Christ? Just as he has revealed himself to the world according to the witness which he bore concerning himself. In that marvelous discourse recorded in the fifth chapter of John, Jesus said, For as the Father raiseth up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. Verses 21 through 23. To Christ is committed the highest prerogative, that of judging. He must receive the same honor that is due to God, and for the reason that he is God. The beloved disciple bears this witness. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 1, verse 1. That this divine Word is none other than Jesus Christ is shown by verse 14. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The Word was in the beginning. The mind of man cannot grasp the ages that are spanned in this phrase. It is not given to men to know when or how the Son was begotten, but we know that he was the divine Word, not simply before he came to the earth to die, but even before the world was created. Just before his crucifixion, he prayed, And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. John 17, verse 5. And more than 700 years before his first advent, his coming was thus foretold by the word of inspiration. But thou, Bethlehem, Euphrata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, Yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from the days of eternity. Micah 5, verse 2, margin. We know that Christ proceeded forth and came from God. John 8, verse 42. But it was so far back in the ages of eternity as to be far beyond the grasp of the mind of man.